article I read recently in NPR that talks about how we, as humans, were born to run barefoot. Essentially, the article concludes that we do it running better without shoes. This kind of goes against everything I've ever known about shoes because all my life I was taught that you needed to always wear the proper footwear for whatever sport or activity that you decided that you wanted to do. Um, for example, basketball. Basketball requires you to do a lot of jumping and a lot of back and forth lateral movements. So you need a good shoe that can provide good cushioning for when you land from a jump or as well as providing support for your ankles when you sprint up and down the court. Basketball shoes are engineered to do just that. It's perfect for basketball. Um, and the same rings true for any other sport or activity like hiking or soccer or what have you. So this whole running barefoot concept is kind of new to me. I attended a convention here in the Bay Area not too long ago, and as luck would have it, I saw an exhibitor walking around in footwear that I've never seen before. I had to do, I had to do a double take. I went over to the exhibitor and I asked him, hey dude, what are you wearing? Excuse me, uh, are you wearing socks? What are those on your feet? Vibroom five finger footwear, he said. I was like, whoa. Whoa, that's crazy! I kept on bugging with more questions like, how comfortable are they? What sports or activities can you wear them for? And do they make your feet stink? It was then I realized that I wanted a pair of my own. And guess what? Guess what? Look what just came in! Oh yeah! <laughs> Anyways, um... I'm kind of excited, the Vibram Five Finger. I actually ordered these from REI, and I had to wait a couple of weeks before they came in. So I'm actually kind of excited. You're going to be unveiling these shoes with me. So, ooh. Got a nice little package there. Talks about the shoes. I'm going to be sure to read this later on. Ooh, these are kind of... Yeah, these are... Basically what I saw over there, the guy that I saw at the exhibitor, at the convention that I went to, is wearing all black. And the ones that I ordered from REI, um, these ones are actually different color, camouflage. So, it's kind of cool. Alright, it's a trip, yeah? Um, Alright, I'm going to put these bad boys on right quick and take them out for a test run. Uh, oh, let me know. I'm going to post up a photo on Facebook. So let me know what you think. I'll see you when I get back. What's up guys, I'm back. Um, crazy workout. Uh, I'm tired. But uh, before I go into what I thought about running in the shoes, I just wanted to give a word to the wise. Kind of disclaimer, I'm no physical therapist, I'm no doctor. I wasn't sponsored by Vibram Five Fingers or REI. Uh, I'm just your average consumer sharing my experiences with a pair of shoes that I bought with y'all. So, okay, now that I got that out of the way, let's go to my experience. Okay, um, I'm actually going to go take a shower first, so I'll see you when I get back. <laughs> All right, well, let's get right into it. Uh, first off, if you're looking for footwear that's going to give you the sensation of running barefoot, the Vibram Five Fingers. <laughs> uh, you also get that added Vibram protection. See? For the soles of your feet. Something that you don't get running barefoot, which, believe me, is quite a relief. You also don't have to worry about getting hurt if you step on anything too crazy. Now, that doesn't mean you should actively look for broken glass to go walk on. It just gives you an assurance that if you do happen to step on something, it won't result in excruciating pain. Uh, also, when you run in the Vibrams for the first time, you'll notice right away while running that it feels way different. I mean, I ran on concrete for a few minutes before I decided to go back home and hop on a treadmill. 
Uh, reason being is the, the impact. I never noticed it before, but like the article had suggested, when we run in shoes, a lot of the impact we take for running is absorbed by our heels. What's that on the dog right here? Awesome. With the Vibrams, you can't land on your heel because it starts to get uncomfortable. I literally had to adjust my stride so that the pressure I felt starting to build up in, Do over. <laughs> in my calves would go away. Anyways, after running for a while on the treadmill, I started to notice that my stride had the natural tendency to strike on the balls of my feet, which if you had to do a dog, it's like right there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, was it maybe to alleviate the pressure I felt on the calves or maybe it was because of the shoes? I don't know, but the automatic adjustment kind of tripped me out. Uh, after my run, I felt muscles working out I never knew I had, uh, kind of like snowboarding. And you know I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to feel real sorry tomorrow for sure. Anyways, uh, but that just means that I probably have to get used to it and build up those muscles. So, with that being said, you'll most definitely develop a new running style after using Vibrams for a while. Uh, at the end of the day, I will say this. If you want to give running barefoot a try, Vibrams is definitely the way to go. Do me a favor though, if you're just starting off, please don't run on concrete right away. Walking is fine, but build up those muscles first before you go balls out. I know I will. Uh, for those of you wondering which style I got, it's the KSO model, ideal for running, hiking, rock climbing, and surfing. So I am most definitely looking forward to taking them outdoors, that's for sure, especially uh, on vacation or hiking or anything like that. So, but uh, all right. That's all the time we've got for this podcast on Edopeno TV. Thank you for watching. And remember, keep it hot as fuck. This is Ed Panano signing off. Oos! get right into it <laughs> if you're looking forward okay <laughs>